Okay, so Hannah has $11.20 in a jar that contains only nickels and dimes. There are 140 coins in the jar. How many of each coin does Hannah have? So one of the things that we do when we're creating word, we're solving the word problem, we create what the variables are. So in this case, we could say X and Y, but really one doesn't depend on the other. This is just a collection of coins, right? So we're saying N is nickels, D is dimes, which makes sense, right? Take a look at the equations and look back up in what the word problem said that got these equations created. Does N plus D equals 140 make sense? Yes. Because how many total coins does she have? What's the other total that we were given? 1120. This has how much dimes are worth and how much nickels are worth. And that makes sense if you think about it because we need to know how much they're each worth when we're adding to the total of how much money she has. Okay. So we need to solve for a single variable. I always take the easiest one, and the easiest one here is this top one because we're not dealing with decimals yet. N plus D equals 140. I've solved it both ways for N or D. What do you guys want to do? Do you want N or D to be isolated? D. So let's subtract the N. What does the next part of our graphic organizer say? Substitute and solve. We're gonna take the second equation and we're gonna sub this in where the D is. 0 0.05 for the nickels plus 0 0.1 times 140 minus N equals 1120. Next step is distribution. I don't trust myself when multiplying decimals. I always use my calculator. 0.05n just comes down to the next row, and we're gonna do 0.1 times 140. What am I gonna get? 14. Plus 14 minus 0.1n equals 1120. I need to combine like terms. I need to combine the two terms that have the N attached. I have 0 0.05 and negative 0.1. Negative 0.1 minus 0 0.05, what are we gonna get? Oops, I didn't mean minus, I meant plus. Negative mm -hmm. zero point zero five N plus fourteen equals eleven twenty. What's next? Take care of that fourteen. Negative 0 0.05n equals 11.2 minus 14, negative 2.8. At this point, I have a negative on both sides, and when I divide, I'm going to end up with a positive. That makes sense in this problem because our answer is going to be a positive. Does you guys see what I'm thinking here? So negative 2.8 divided by, have you realized that your calculator does this yet, by the way? Whatever the last thing that was in there, like the last thing I calculated was negative 2.8, and I'm continuing the problem, it just, it's bringing it down for me, except I just messed that up. There it is. So, negative 
negative 2.8 divided by, oops, sorry, hit the divided by. Now I'm going to have to enter it all again. Negative 2.8 divided by 0 0.05. I didn't put both negatives in. I get 56. Now we know how many nickels there are. Next part of our graphic organizer, plug back in to find the other variable. I can take the first equation in the first form, or I can take it in the form where I isolated the variable. I like this one because the D is on one side and that's what I need. I need to know how many dimes. So D is equal to 140 minus N, and we now know the N is 140 minus 56, 84. So I get 84 dimes and 56 nickels. How can I check this work? I could go back up to these two equations and plug it in. Is 84 plus 56 140? Is 56 times 0 0.05 plus 0.1 times 84, does that equal 1120? That's how you would check. Make sense? So I am going to suggest that you work on this as a team until it's time to go. These other three problems are due at the beginning of class tomorrow for points. Okay?